What's going on, guys? Welcome to episode six of our Penn State Return to Powertime Dynasty. This is our week six game. This is our Big Ten opener, and we are facing the good old Indiana Hoosiers uh, in uh, Indiana. So this is our first road game uh, since we played uh, Syracuse. Uh, sorry, since we played Eastern Michigan at that. And so we're going into a pretty hostile environment, and it is raining again. First Big Ten matchup, and it has to rain, of course. That's just our luck, but uh, this team has overcome the elements multiple times, at least once already. Uh, if that makes any sense at all, then you can shock me up and uh, tell me that did not make any sense either. So we're taking a look at the uh, yardage, 179 yard passing per game for us. Uh, that turnovers per game is a little off. I think we actually have thrown like two interceptions, so... I don't know. I know their their points per game isn't as good as ours, uh, and I think we have a little bit more rushing than that. But uh, as we jump into the first drive of the game, we got the ball first, so I mean, why not go ahead and run some offense? First down and ten. Jacobs will drop out a pass on the screenplay, fire it out right for Daniel, and Daniel will get the first down. Nice eleven yard, twelve yard pickup. As we take a look, he has thirteen receptions for one hundred seventy seven in the yards, and the five touchdowns. Uh, on the year and those five touchdowns came in one game so now it'll be first and tw uh, 10 for the Penn State Nittany Lions as Roberts will get the ball and Roberts will bounce out to the right hand side and bring it across the 50 yard line in an enemy territory and a six yard pickup right there so after a one yard gain it will be third and three for the Nittany Lions Jacobs will fake the handoff to Roberts and he will fire it out to the right hand side and find Osborne and Osborne has the first down nice 11 yard pickup right there Robert Osborne pretty sure handed tight end that we have uh and so now first and 10, Jacobs is going to hand out the ball to Roberts, and Roberts will get five yards on the play. So now second and five for the Nittany Lions as Jacobs goes under center, looking to run Roberts on a nice draw play. He will hand the ball to Roberts. Roberts will shred a tackler, and Roberts will get the first down. Nice six-yard pickup right there uh, for Roberts. Running good this season and continuing it today, even in the elements. So now going to hand the ball to Randall. And Randall will go on a nice draw play, and Randall will get a nice pick of about eight on the play. He's running well as well, even though he has a little bit of fumbleitis every now and then. Uh, so second and two right here, Jacob is going to hand the ball off to Randall after he flips the play, and Randall will go left-hand side, and Randall will have a lot more blocking, and he will get a nice 11 pick pickup first and goal, translates into second and goal after a two-yard loss as Randall went out with a broken toe on that play. So now Roberts will come back in, and he will get broken up. Uh, he will get stuffed to the line, so that was zero to rush. So after a... Uh, another zero yard rush will be fourth and goal. We'll bring on EJ Bell and he will punch it through. Three nothing. Penn State goes up on the Hoosiers. So after an incomplete, actually sorry, after a zero yard rush, it will be second and ten for the Hoosiers. As Hicks is in pistol formation, he will drop back to pass. He will look. He's gonna fire to the right. He's gonna find Thurman and Thurman has a nice pick of about eight on the play. And they run the huddle relentlessly in this game. So bear with me. As it now is third and one. As Hicks will drop out of pass, he's going to fire to the right-hand side. He's going to find Thurman again, and Thurman has the first down. Nice eight-yard pickup again. So now after an incomplete pass, it'll be second and ten for the Hoosiers. As Hicks is set up in more of a pistol off, uh, pistol formation than he was last time. And he will send a man in motion. He will go ahead and fake the handoff to Smith, and he will run with it himself. But he will be stuffed, but not before he gets three yards. So that was a nice play by Sets there to come up and make that good play on the quarterback. Coming out of the secondary to make a good play at the line. So now third and seven, running no huddle again. With 25 seconds left in the first quarter, Hicks will drop out a pass, and he will look. He's going to fire right-hand side. He's going to find Osborne, and Osborne has the first down on a nice 11-yard reception right there. So Hoosiers are moving the ball pretty effectively with this no-huddle attack as uh, our defense is getting kind of gassed. So now first and 10 for the Hoosiers as Hicks will drop out of pass again. And Hicks will fire in the middle and find Olsen. And uh, Olsen will get another nice 11-yard pickup. So now after an incomplete pass, will be second and 10 for the Indiana Hoosiers as Good old Hicks will send a man in motion. He will go ahead and draw back to pass. He'll hand the ball off. Actually, to Smith on a nice draw play about mid-draw. And he will only get one yard, so defense holding up. So hopefully we can get a stop right here. Third and nine for the Hoosier offense. Shotgun formation. Hicks is going to go ahead and drop back to pass. And he will look and look and look. And he will be almost tackled on the play. And Dobb almost gets a nice uh, interception. So they'll have to punt the ball away. Uh, so we'll go ahead and take the ball over at the 20-yard line. Jacobs will hand the ball off to Roberts on a nice draw play, and Roberts will bounce it out to the right-hand side, and he will get across the line uh, first down marker and get the first down. So now after a zero-yard rush, it will be second and 10 for the Nittany Lions. Jacobs will hand the ball off to Roberts on a draw play. Nothing going there, negative one-yard loss on that play. So now third and 11 running hurry up of our own 
has we set up in four verticals. Jacobs will go ahead and job back to pass, and he will look. He's going to fire deep down the left-hand side of the field, and he has Dorch, and Dorch gets one foot in, 33-yard reception for our nice wide receiver on that good old outlet play on the four verticals. So now it will be first and 10 as Jacobs will drop back to pass under center. He will fire over, find Morris and Morris, Bill Morris, our big old tight end will get down to about the 15-yard line. That's 21-yard reception right there. So now it'll be first and 10 for the Nittany Lions. They are driving pretty well on this defense right now. Jacobs will hand the ball off to Roberts. Roberts will cut back out to the right-hand side and then cut back up the middle and get a nice six-yard play on that play. So now first and sorry, second and four, Jacobs will hand the ball off to Randall, who came back with a broken toe. He's playing in this game. He will get the first down. Nice five-yard rush right there by A.J. Randall. So now first and goal. For the Nittany Lions, as Jacobs will go ahead and pitch right with Roberts. And Roberts got some nice blocking. And Roberts will get down to about the two-yard lines. Nice three-yard rush right there as we run no huddle. Jacobs will go ahead and hand the ball off to Roberts again on a nice eye play. And Roberts will get into the end zone. Touchdown, Nittany Lions. They take a 10-0 lead over the Hoosiers of Indiana as we get another look at this. As Roberts has been running well this season, and he gets another touchdown uh, on the year for this offense in the Big Ten play. First Big Ten game he's shown up today. So after an incomplete pass, it will be second and ten for the Hoosiers as Hicks will drop back to pass and he will look far right hand side, find Thurman. His tight end's been doing work today and he will get nine yards on that play. So now third and one running no huddle. Relentless on this no huddle. Uh, and uh, he will go ahead and set up and pistol Hicks. We'll go ahead and check on the sidelines. It was a check with me right there. He will go ahead and draw back to pass, and he will look. He's going to fire over the middle. He's going to find Sowell, and Sowell will shut a block a tackler, and he will get the first down for a nice 15-yard pickup. So now it will be first and 10 for the Hoosiers as Hicks will have another check with me on the sidelines. He will drop out of pass. He will actually hand the ball off on a nice mid draw with Smith and Smith will break some tackles, make some men miss and he's broken free but he will be finally shoestring tackled but not before he gets a nice 25 yard pickup. That was his longest run of the game so far so now it will be first and 10 after a Penn State timeout. Trying to get some subs on the field and uh, first and 10 well I should get a sack on Hicks which will make it a second and 18 coming up for the Hoosier offense with 138 left in the second quarter as Hicks will go ahead and Draw back to pass, and he will look over the middle. He's going to find Washington, and Washington has a nice 13-yard pickup right there. So that will that'll bring up third and five uh, after another Penn State timeout for the Hoosiers as Hicks will draw back to pass, and he will look. He's going to fire over the middle. He's going to find Thurman, and Thurman makes a man miss, and he will be finally tackled about the 11-yard line. Nice 12-yard pickup right there. So now second and 10 after a incomplete pass. Hoosiers will send a man in motion. Sorry, the Hicks will send a man in motion. He will drop out of pass. He's going to look. He's going to fire right hand side. He's going to find Washington. Then Washington gets pushed out of bounds. It's a great play by the defender right there to get him out of bounds. So now it'll be third and two. Defense has got to make a stop right here to keep uh, them out of the end zone. As Hicks will hand the ball to his fullback, Reed. And Reed will be stuck at the line. Fourth and two coming up. They're going to go for it right here. Can we get the ball back on the two yard line or will they score right here? Let's see what happens. As. Hicks brings the troops to the line, and he will do a couple fake hikes right here. After changing the play, he will do another fake hike, and he will actually make his own man jump, and so that will push him back five yards on a nice full start penalty as West was decided to jump off, which has to aggravate the Indiana Hoosier coach uh, because that, that kind of discipline needs to be done more at home. So they will go ahead and bring on the field goal unit as they're going to try to cut this lead to seven that the Nittany Lions have over them. Uh, at home in the nasty weather. So great hold by Hicks, and the kick is up, and it is good. So they do cut the lead to seven points. So now third, second and seven after a three-yard rush. Jacobs will drive by the passing, going to look. Fire deep down left inside the field. He's got Bowen, and Bowen's all across the 50, down about the 46-yard line. Nice 30-yard reception by Colton. Bowen, that's his only reception so far in the game. So now it'll be first and 10 with 19 seconds left. Jacobs is going to go ahead and hand the ball off to Roberts. Roberts will break outside, and he will go ahead and break up back up the middle, and he will get... 10 yards, but they won't give him the first down. So now it will be second and inches after our last time out and spent. Jacobs will drive by passing on fire deep left hand side. And he has his man Dorch. And Dorch is down the sidelines. He will be tackled about the nine yard line. So that'll be first and goal for the Nittany Lions running some hurry up offense right here. They're going to try to go sticks and try to get a nice quick slant route and uh, try to possibly put some points on the board uh, early. Uh, actually, kind of later in this half, but uh, he will go ahead and fire left inside, and the defender gets pushed, and the actually receiver Dorch gets pushed off the line, and so we'll bring on EJ Bell, and he will kick 
the field goal, and that will give us a 10-point lead going into halftime as the Hoosiers get the ball back to start the half to start halftime. First and 10 for the Hoosiers as Hicks will fire right-hand side and find Olsen, and Olsen has a nice wide receiver screen. He will get 10 yards, but they will only give him uh, second inches, but that translates into third and one after a negative one-yard loss for Smith. Uh, third and one. Hicks will send a man in motion. Uh, actually, Harper will send a man in motion after Hicks actually got hurt on the previous play on his rush. He has a broken upper arm, uh, upper arm bruise. His upper arm bruise, and so he's out for two quarters as Harper comes in and he gets a first down with Smith, and then he'll hand it off again on second and ten and get eight yards with Smith. Smith. So he's actually doing some great play calling as a backup quarterback right now. So now Harper sends Smith out left. He will drop back to pass, and he's going to look. He's going to fire deep left hand side. He's got Washington, and Washington steps out of bounds. If he had not stepped out of bounds, it probably would have been a touchdown. So now, after that nice long play by Washington, Harper is going to go ahead and drop out a pass again. He will look, and he will look. He's going to fire right-hand side, and he has his man Olsen, and Olsen has nine yards on that reception right there. So now with 3.22 left in the third quarter, Harper is in striking distance, possibly in the end zone, as it is second and one, and he's going to set up in the uh Pistol formation as he sends his man in motion. Harper will drop out of passing going to look left hand side. He has a man Washington tippy toe lemon tree on the sidelines. First down and ten for the Hoosiers. They are driving extremely well on this Penn State defense. And so now first and ten. Gotta check with me on the sidelines. He will drop out of pass. Harper looking, looking. He will fire over the middle. He's gonna find Thurman. Thurman has a first down. Nice ten yard reception right there by the big tight end. As Olsen went out with a straight back. He is done with prior for the game. As he's supposed to sit out for two quarters as Harper will find Kurt Patrick, and Kurt Patrick on the wide receiver screen only gets five, so now it'll be second and five for the Hoosier offense as they're looking to possibly capitalize on this great drive that they've mastered and uh, kind of hooked up uh, on the opening possession of the second half as uh, Smith gets down to the goal line and gets stuffed at the goal line. Great defensive play. So now it'll be first and goal. Harper's going to fake the handoff. Great fake touchdown. Hoosiers, they cut the lead to three. So on the ensuing kickoff, A.J. Randall's got to hold on to this football, and he will actually muff it, and so he'll be down at the two-yard line. So we will start way back in our own uh, district of the field. And after a one-yard loss, now it'll be second and 11 from the half-yard marker. Jacobs will fire left-hand side. He has Bowen for a nice 11-yard pickup, so third and inches coming up. Running no huddle, Jacobs will go ahead and call a quarterback sneak, and he will be stuffed at the line. So fourth and one, we're going to go ahead and call hurry up once again. Uh, taking no prisoners on this drive, it seems like, as uh, we go ahead and call for the sticks play again. Jacobs, go ahead and have a check with me himself on the sidelines. Fourth and one. This is a big play right here. He will go ahead and draw back to pass. He's going to fire right-hand side. He's got Morris. Bill Morris again. Great play as he gets the first down. So now it'll be second and 10 after an incomplete pass. Jacobs will draw back to pass. He's going to look over the middle. He's going to find Daniel who slips but catches the ball. Nice five-yard reception right there. So now it'll be third and five. For the Nittany Lions, as Jacobs will drop back to pass, he will fire right hand side. He has Randall, and Randall has a nice pickup of nine on the play. First down and out of bounds for the Nittany Lions. And now it'll be second and ten after an incomplete pass. Jacobs will have a change an audible play, and he will actually be almost sacked on the play. Uh, so that'll be incomplete pass itself. So now it'll be third and ten for the Nittany Lion offense. As Jacobs is going to go ahead and hand the ball off to Roberts. Roberts will go right-hand side. And Roberts on third and 10. He will get the first down running on the ground. What a great play call right there. But after a negative five-yard loss on first down, it'll be second and 15. Jacobs will send a man motion. He will fire right-hand side. And he has Bill Morris. Bill Morris has a 10-yard gain right there. So they'll be third and five for the Nittany Lion offense. They have got to get this to keep their hopes alive at this point. Not possibly turn the ball over. Uh, giving them great field position. So now Roberts is going to get the ball, and he will only get four on the play. So fourth and one. Here we go. Fourth and one coming up for the offense as Jacobs is going to actually call an audible, and uh, he's going to basically take this thing all the way down, and uh, me trying to get it off will double tap A, and it will bounce off the receiver's head. Uh, that's a game flaw. That was not my fault, and we will actually turn the ball over on down. So... First and 10, a great field position for the Hoyers as Harper will drop out a pass as Nix is still out. He will fire right-hand side, find Price, and Price has a nice three-yard reception. Second and seven coming up. Defense has got to hold him on this possession to keep this game alive for Penn State as Harper will hand the ball off to Smith on a draw play. And Smith will actually be met at the line and not gain anything right there. So now third and seven, still running the no-huddle offense. Harper will go ahead and have another check with me on the sidelines. He will go ahead 
and draw back to pass, and he will look. You know, fire deep down the field. It's going to be batted away by Burns. Great defensive play. They'll have to punt the ball away as we take a look at the offense. As first half, we had a lot of offense. Second half, not so much. But we are still winning this ball game, and we will actually have to punt the ball away on our next possession. So they will get the ball back around the 48-yard line. So that will be first and 10. Hicks will hand the ball off to Smith as he is back in the game. He will get, and Smith will actually get four yards on that play. So after a negative one-yard loss, it will be sorry. After a one-yard gain, it will be third and five. And Fowler will get to Hicks. Hicks is sacked for the second time today by this defensive line of the Nittany Lions. So now 4th and 13. This is really the ball game for Indiana. As Hicks will drop out a pass and he will fire deep down the right-hand side of the field. It's going to be intercepted by Jones. Jones makes a great play on the left-hand side. Actually, sorry, right-hand side of the play or uh, field. And he will bring this one back to about the 49-yard line. So now 1st and 10 for the Nittany Lions. All they got to do is get a couple first downs. And this game is over. Jacobs will get the ball on a nice power O play. He will cut back out the right-hand side. And he will get the first down timeout, Indiana. So now after spending their second timeout, it will be second and 11 after a negative one-yard loss on the previous play. Jacobs is looking to run Roberts as he actually sends Morris to the other side. Bill Morris, a great blocking tight end. We will go ahead and flip the play to the left-hand side of the field as we will go ahead and Jacobs will hand the ball off to Roberts. Roberts cuts back up inside and he will get a nice pickup of about six on the play. So they will burn their final timeout. Third and five with 116 left in the fourth. Jacobs is looking to run Roberts. He will hand the ball off to Roberts. And Roberts will go right-hand side. And Roberts will be stuffed. But not before he gets one yard. So we're going to actually get a call. Hurry up right here and go for it on fourth down just to make them uh, really pay. But also, to, if we convert this, then we really do own the game at this point. So now, fight song. The only play that really works anymore. Roll it to the right. Jacobs finds Daniel. Daniel has a lot of room. He breaks a man and he gets down to about the 15-yard line. Nice 19-yard reception. Hern Herman Daniel has been big for us the past couple weeks as he is really the lifeline of this offense right now. What a great play as uh, the fight song was rolling. And so now first and 10 for the Nittany Lions. Jacobs will hand the ball to Roberts. Roberts will get a nice pickup of about four on the play. Second and six coming up as we go ahead and call no huddle and we will go ahead and toss right with Roberts as Jacobs will go ahead and pitch Roberts is not as much room as he hoped for and he will actually lose two yards so now just to rub it in their face and we will win by six with this uh we're gonna go ahead and kick a field goal so now EJ Bill kick is up good hold by Smith field goal is good Penn State wins the game 16 to 10 in their Big Ten conference opener Finally getting into Big Ten Conference play as a great win in the rain and slop uh, in, at Indiana. So they prevail on the road with five consecutive wins as Josh Roberts is your player of the game. 24 carries, 80 yards, and a touchdown. His touchdown really put this game uh, away, honestly. And so did that interception. So next week, guys, we'll head back home as we are now ranked 20th in the nation to face the number 7 Michigan Wolverines. As this is probably our biggest game so far of the season. And uh, Herb Street is actually picking us to win this game at home. So he's he's thinking that we're going to play uh, play Buster in this one. As uh, you see the stats, we are ranked fourth over them in the way of points per game. Uh, their offense is better than ours, but our defense is number one in the country still. And their turnover differential is the best. So their defense is doing something right. Uh, either that or... Uh, they just don't fumble the ball. So, uh, and they score. They have 10 touchdowns and no interceptions. But, uh, so, uh, we're, we're going to have our tails between our legs. Not really, but, you know, you know how it goes. We're going to hopefully prevail uh, hosting the number seven team in the nation. Hopefully, we can pull off. But the big thing right there is their quarterback, Preston, is hurt and out for two weeks. So is their left guard. So, uh, and he and Preston's their, their main guy. So, as you can look at our schedule, we've won pretty handily the last couple of weeks. Uh, not last week, but uh, or this week, but uh, last week was pretty good. And uh, we look at their 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 uh, good old schedule. Uh, they've had some good games, uh, but um, this will probably be their best game of the season playing us. And we'll actually look at their leaders or our leaders: 15 touchdowns, two interceptions for Steve Jacobs, and Roberts has four touchdowns on the ground, 662 yards rushing with 121 yards, uh, 121 attempts. And so he's doing something right. And his Fowler got his third sack on the season. We look at Preston. He has 11 touchdowns throwing and four touchdowns rushing for him. He is their passer and rushing leader. And he got hurt last game. So that's a big, a big deal for us. But I think the the really the good uh, thing to really look at right here for their defensive team is this Quinn has 14 tackles and Clark has three interceptions. So good defense. Uh, hopefully we'll pull out the victory against the number seven team in the nation. 
Uh, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.